My name is Stephen Backman. I hold the Guinness World Records title for creating the world's smallest toothpick sculpture. The toothpick is very challenging, meaning there are thousands of toothpicks I use in my sculptures. I use my naked eyes to create the art. I don't use any loops, no magnification of any kind. I use just a straight edge razor blade, tweezers, a needle nose pliers, a little glue, and a lot of patience. And I'm able to achieve recognizable art from toothpicks and glue. And that's mind boggling to people because they still can't believe that I can create landmarks from a single toothpick. I think the reality is that people are intrigued with unique items and people want to see unique things. And I've come up with something no one else has created. This is Big Ben, Titanic, Double Helix, Tower Bridge, the White House, Cinderella Castle, Burj Khalifa, and the Transamerica Pyramid. All of these have been created from a single toothpick. It began in my parents' kitchen. I found a box of toothpicks in a drawer, and I thought, wow, these are pretty interesting. Might as well get a little glue and start gluing them together. And then later on, when I was taking a course on the history of San Francisco at San Francisco State University, I made a cable car, and that's where the ball started to roll. I created a marketing program, I made three different sized cable cars, started selling them, and then I got the bright idea of making the Golden Gate Bridge from 30,000 toothpicks. Two and a half years later, it evolved into a 13 foot long sculpture, 13 feet long, suspended with any form of cable or wire. I had a solo exhibition in the lobby of the Empire State Building, March through May of 2006, featuring my art in every window in the lobby for the 75th anniversary of the Empire State Building. I also created a sculpture for Oprah Winfrey, for Lou Dobbs. I've created for President Obama, President Bush, President Clinton. Achieving a world record title has been a dream come true. My father encouraged me to break a record and I'm so happy that I was able to achieve this world record while my father's living. He has advanced Parkinson's disease, and when I told him I achieved a Guinness World Record title, he smiled, so he knew exactly what I got.